intentional. Uh, I don't know what happened. I'm about to say you get blooded, dog. Why it happened? Yo, I don't know why it happened. I don't know what happened. I thought that, like, damn, that pressure quarter eject. <laughs> you did eject. What you call? What you say? Eject those seat on me. Eject That's exactly what you did. You eject those seat on me. But I'm back. So is Kenny together for go for two. Uh, I don't even know how many watchers or listeners we have. Oh, we don't have any listeners per se because we're not podcasting. It's more like the live podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we know a little bit. I know a little bit about, a lot of bit about football, a little bit about sports in general. I might, that's Kenny once again, in case you forgot, because we've been going for a long, 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 long time. Since what? Preseason. Pre- yeah. First, uh, actually, we would, well, yeah, first week of the season. So we dropped yeah. the first videos on that Thursday. First video of the season was out, like that. That this is terrible. We know what we are. We are ashamed. Uh, but we have ideas. I mean, I have the biggest head in our group, obviously. Yeah, we so we have a, <laughs> we have a lot of ideas. We just have to we just have to get it going. And what better time than now? I guess uh, we midway through the season. And I feel like we say this every couple of years that this is probably one of the weirdest seasons, period. Well, especially these last two weeks. So, no, last two weeks have been absolutely insane. Last two weeks have like, been crazy. You think, you know, um, people talking about the trade deadline. Uh, it got popping after the trade deadline. We had some releases and signs. Trade deadline meant nothing. It means nothing. It meant nothing because in, in this NFL, like, we know that people get out of... That's why I don't make a big deal about contracts anymore. I used to. I used to. Only but I look, at, I, I look at how teams always get from out of contracts always so i'm like well what what does a contract mean when when the team always finds a way to to get out of it i mean what's what's binding about it and and how often does it set a team back really i mean that's 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 part and parcel people talk about uh players honoring their contracts or NCAA. uh you know before we had the nil that oh mm -hmm. players know what they signed up for they're going to school for free even though we know you know school costs what it costs because a school dictates whatever it costs they say oh i want to cost this much it costs this much since but since we talk about contracts let's start about one that i think was a little fishy i didn't even find out how fishy it was until uh thursday night football can do a contract uh it's 10 million people say oh up to 10 million Five, half of that, five million of it. It's the he wins Super Bowl, Super Bowl MVP. He's, yeah, MVP. He's not yeah. Super Bowl. What are we nah. talking about? So nah. that's that's one of those things. Like, that's why I say guaranteed money. What I, what I think about, like, you look at OBJ contract before he went to the Rams. Like, you know, the Browns had to pay him that guaranteed money. That's why you know the waivers. Yeah. We that's why he he was gonna clear waivers no matter what. Because people are like, oh, the Browns are gonna pay him. We not paying him. So exactly. So so with that said, like, um, OBJ going to. The Rams. Personally, I think it's a really, really, really good move. Like I, oh, wait, let me phrase that. It's a really good move for the Rams. Bad saying. move, bad yeah, bad move for him. And Brian Clark was one of the first people to say this, and I don't know if you heard what he said. And I agree wholeheartedly. For OBJ, then I let you go. For OBJ, he didn't put himself in a situation where he can be the guy. Like he's coming to a team, he, he can't prove himself. Like he. I said in our chat that he he's he's put himself in a position where he can possibly earn a contract by basically going to say, okay, well, I can be a you know a good dude. I can I can make plays in the playoffs because I do think that's where he's gonna come into play, right? I think that it's gonna take him a few weeks. They have a system that um the safety, uh Johnson who played for who played for the Rams, who now played for the Browns, who said it runs through literally their entire system runs through Cooper Cooper Cup. Yeah, bring Calvin Johnson record this year. Yeah, so this this dude is coming into a system that where there is no spread like there is no wealth right like it's not it's not meant to be spread out through you know to different receivers van jefferson who i was a, like i was a big fan of coming out of florida because of his route running because of his you know catch point ability because his ability to kind of uh run underneath routes he does the same thing as odell does yeah, that's right. he's like a poor man's man's version of him so and he's coming up and then we have robert woods so I'm like, well, Odell, like how, how can you take away touches from those guys to make a big enough impact for yourself in order for you to warrant, um, you know, like a, a big contract? And for the Rams, it just makes sense. You just give uh, Matt another another weapon and give McVay another weapon. So what do you think? So before before we start exactly on it, I think the Odell mm -hmm. news is good for the Rams in the sense that it happened right after the Von Miller news. I think, I think getting Von Miller and then OBJ – like right same time basically i think that's what because that defense is crazy that defense is pretty good it was mm -hmm. it's actually underperforming if you ask me because yeah, you got rams you got the nastiest man in the game in rams in uh mm -hmm. aaron donald 
You're not adding Von Miller in that. Von Miller's never not been double teamed in his life. He's about to keep about to come off that edge free. That's it's about yep. it's gonna be crazy. But in the mm-hmm. Odell sense, um, I don't think this Rams offense is tailored to him in the sense, not just because Cooper Cup it runs through him and he's the number one guy, but they don't really run. We talked about it like a couple of times when uh Odell's three, four years in the game when he was in the Giants, like he mm-hmm. only running that, that seam, that slant, and that dig. And the Ram, I don't think the Rams know what the dig route is. They're not running the dig at all. Mm-hmm. Slant's not a lot. And then you got Van Jefferson running those ins and outs, which is what Odell could do. And then so so going deep, we know Stafford got an arm. It's more it's better for him than Jared Goff. But again, yeah. if you're gonna pull this, if they're gonna pull the second team, the double team off of Cooper Cup, then I guess it helps for again for the Rams. As far as that, tactically, but for OB, I don't see OBJ having no record breaking year like next because it's a two year thing. I don't see no, 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 yeah, crazy right. year next year, nothing like that. But I think this is a Wait, stop. We talked, what's up? you said it's a, well, his, his contract is, is two years with arm. Um, he says he has to have two more, two more years. Oh, no, okay, this season, the next, not not two. Oh, more. I'm thinking that. See, I was thinking that he actually he he went to, so you think he's actually going to just commit to the Rams for two years? I, I think, think is right. I think this is a, a stop gap because we talked about uh with Odell briefly the. He wanted three things. He wanted production. I don't think he's gonna get that. A ring and a big city. LA a big city. We, that that you can't argue. You know, he, he he got what he wanted so far. It's a nice stadium, all that. He, he gonna be couldn't be a star. He got a house in LA, he's friends with LeBron. That's all gonna continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh ring is now possible. This team is looking nasty. They had there's you know, hopefully they don't win the division because I have a bet going that they won't. But other than that, I mean, you don't gotta win the division now to make I mean, never did, but you definitely you definitely you know, have to do it now. Strong yeah. position where you know they can make the playoffs without winning the divisions, but because well, the Cardinals keep on chugging along, so he's not gonna get that production, I don't think. But he's gonna get those two other things, and maybe if he show enough, he go to another big city, or maybe back to New York. I, I don't think so. Probably not Miami. Mm-hmm. Let's not do that. Tampa not a big city, but Tom Brady down there, so maybe he want to go down there for a different ring. Who, who like mm-hmm. we got to see how the season ends before we see where he going next. But produ- production wise, I don't see it happening. But for the Rams, I think they got what they wanted. You had, you had mentioned something. Um, uh, uh, like a lot of things, at first, how he fits how he fits into the system like is, is extremely important. And I was saying this again, like on the chat, because we always talking about it. Is I think for him, um, fitting in and where he gets in and around, if he's running like you know underneath, um, you know to kind of get him you know involved in the offense early, so he can kind of get his feet wet, get you know get comfortable. Because obviously, like with receivers, you can you can get cold if you're not getting the ball a lot, so it, it can create drops. Um, and because he is so creative after the catch. You know, and Sean McVay is is so he's phenomenal at trading like Kyle Shanahan different ways to run a ball. You know, you can see Odell in a bunch of different roles, right? Which is cool. The problem is, again, the offense evolves around one particular person. For the Rams, it just gives it gives him McVay a joke like a wild card. You know, you can kind of use him, you know, any any which way. Um, but it puts pressure on the Rams. Like it now, because of the two names, just names alone. Forget the fact that OBJ, like he he's been declining every year, and in large part due to injuries, but he still has a massive name. Yeah, like in like a massive name of their Von Miller's Von Miller dude was you know like Super Bowl MVP. Um, he he literally beat Cam Newton almost you know by himself on the defensive end. Obviously, they had corner like you know we know they're stacked defensively, but he was like the guy. So now expectations for the Rams is this Super Bowl a bust for them? I, I think in their minds, it might already have been Super Bowl or bust. It might not have been to us, mm-hmm. but you see trading uh, your future because, yeah, again, yeah, Jerry Goff. Yeah, sw- switching Goff in Stafford, that's showing, okay, we're trying to do something now because Jerry Goff picks. was obviously, yeah, yeah. Jerry Goff was obviously a uh, thing for the future. They was building on that and, and there's picks traded away. And mm-hmm. then when you see, so when you see that, you're like, okay, they they thinking about doing something here. And again, you got Jalen Ramsey out there that gave him big money. You got Von, like this, this was built as a let's go get this. To them, yeah, I think yeah. that's all they, always how they thought about it. Maybe not how we saw it directly, because we're like, well, first we of always all, know things take the division time, yeah. is stacked. Second mm-hmm. of all, you know, all this other stuff going on. So, yeah, if, I think if they don't make it to, I don't know about winning the Super Bowl because Tom Brady. Well, yeah, yeah, let's yeah, let's just You never want to be, you never want to bet against Tom Brady because he's kind of yeah. done. He, he is, he is you what he is. Yeah, he is yeah. what he is. So, yeah. but not getting to the Super Bowl unless it's like some crazy uh, Viking Saints game. Type thing where okay we can see how they lost that game it's not you know it is what it is let's go get it again next year go go let's go again but that'll be hindsight though think about that we already know like that that's what I'm saying. Like, it depends yeah. how it happens because yeah because for us we have like once once it does settle okay 
because it's two different it's two different ways it's the media how they're perceived which is uh it won't be that it won't be man you know like oh man if it was just like this offside penalty that and you know it, they would have still been in championship nah it would be they, they didn't make it to super you know so i'm with you i think that you know for us because like Juan tried to downplay it like Juan is now remember so no but he started off handing out applications like oh you know a bandwagon like hey you want to want to come jump on the bandwagon but then you know he noticed all the hype because I posted this this uh the Thanos I don't know who I got it from because I'm not that creative but I posted this Thanos um Sean McVay that's Thanos yeah I see the Sean McVay is, not Thanos but he had the because I don't want to say Thanos he was Thanos he had the the, the gauntlet yeah and uh, and people don't know it's the, the Marvel the the Marvel gauntlet the one Thanos had with with the with the stones um you know because he about to collect rings but again this is not built for a long term thing they're not going to become a, a dynasty this is for them to win the Super Bowl you know, within the next two years. Like, this is not a dynasty because they don't have anything to build on right now. And and I'm, I really want to hear what you think. What Sean McVay and, and um, Les Snead showed is you can win through trades and free agency. You don't need draft picks, right? As long as you get cornerstones in the draft, like they did with um, Aaron Donald. And uh, what they had, see, I can't even say Kasar Gurley, he was a cornerstone and then he left. And then Jerry Goff was a cornerstone and then he got rid of who are the cornerstone guys. And it's kind of like they mixed and matched um, players, but they built a defense around one particular player. And they say, you know what? Um, we can do this without, without draft picks. We can just get, you know, proven guys who, you know, within their youth. And we can try to see what we can do as far as contracts because they get rid of people and picks. They don't care about youth. How do you feel about like? How do you feel about that? Because I'm thinking that it's gonna come back to bite them in two years, and then you know it, it could all go downhill. Well, you know, there's different ways to do everything. We we seen through the Patriots, of course, especially yeah. for years that building through the draft works and, and the different things. I mean, obviously, and you don't have to do it in the first round because they suck that pick and suck picks. Terrible. But yeah, yeah uh, like one example is uh, Bill Belichick said you always draft a quarterback. Obviously, Tom Brady was never in danger of losing his job, but you draft a quarterback every year, and then they was trading him away, getting stuff for Jacoby mm-hmm. Brissett, getting stuff. So like, there's value and stuff like that. I think coaches see things differently now. Like a legacy coach, like when you got like a, a Arians, a Belichick, like these guys, they got longevity and they got d- dubs in the, you know in their back cabinet. I think mm-hmm. now when you look at some of these younger guys, like Sean McVay, he's young as hell, like. No matter when you get your rings, you get your, you get your, you get them on the front end. Yeah. It is what it is. I am who I am. You know, I'm not trying to be the winningest coach of all time. I'm not trying to, you know, be Don Shula or nothing like that. Mm-hmm. So I, it depends. I don't know how he views it, but I do think yeah, he definitely is a tactical guy is the way he seems that he thinks this, this is a team that could win the, the Super Bowl right now, next year. And if you know, that don't happen. They go again, just not through. I mean, again, they got this nice stadium. They got all this stuff. They got all this stuff to attract people now. And, you know, it's California, all this stuff. So it's like, okay, we're going to draft people. I mean, we have draft picks, but it's not like, okay, draft a bus. It's not like, oh, build through the draft, five-year plan, and all this other stuff that certain teams do. So, again, personally, as a long-suffering Dolphins fan, I know that you drafting well helps you. Because if you don't, free agency don't always work. Because you, you, you can attract all the people in the world. They don't gel if you don't got a solid plan. It's, it's just not gonna work. So and yeah, the plan start with the head coach, obviously, because the thing is, if you don't have a guy that can coach um, the guys that you bring in, because you can, like you said, you can you can use free agencies to help build. I mean, you, you see it. We're we're seeing it now. Like, and it's not just um, we see it with the uh, the Cardinals how they added a piece through trade, which is DeAndre Hopkins to an offense with a, with a uh, kid, Kyler Murray, um, at quarterback who was who was dynamic. They just added another dynamic weapon to him. Then you they went and um they signed AJ Green, a, a agent vet. You know, to an offense that needed, you know, a combination of of youth, but are you one of those worked and one of those didn't? Yeah, well, yeah, well, AJ well, Green, he's he's working though. Yeah, like I mean, he's he's doing what he needed to, and then DeAndre, he, he kind of been like hurt, but you know, like ne- nevertheless, and then so you 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 go back and they like they brought in James Conner, right? They didn't draft the back, even though they they, they drafted Edo Benjamin, um, but they didn't draft the back, you know, to kind of be the guy they brought in James Conner, um, so and it helped. But it, it another example of a trade, and it just kind of literally took the team to the next level and took the quarterbacks to the next level was Josh Allen and um uh, Stephon Diggs. If you give a if you give a quarterback who's struggling because he's struggling very early in his career, the Bills. yeah, he's yeah. But you can go ahead and jump in like he struggled like super early, and then as soon as they inserted uh, Stephon Diggs, all of a sudden he got better. So here's one of the things that uh, we talked about this on Boom Bus, you know, the show I'm on. Might put that link in. The, I don't know. I'll think about it. Uh, <laughs> 
So think about it is receivers are no longer force fed the ball. Even with, even with number one receivers, I mean, maybe besides Cooper Cup. You got a couple of examples. But like yeah. with Diggs and Thielen back in on the Vikings, mm-hmm. Thielen get it's not like they didn't touch the ball a crazy amount, but Diggs was, mm-hmm. you know, Diggs was like, like you could see it was a two-headed monster, right? And you could see and but you could also see Diggs that Diggs was like a number one type of guy. Yeah, you knew he sure, could be. But then Diggs one. had that first year with the Bills, where again he was still a number one guy getting the ball. This year, not so much, and it's not like the Bills suffering for it. So it's like, Mm-mm. I mean, they're not having the best season, but it's not like they, uh, you know, lost to the Jaguars. But they're, they're not, you we know, lost how to the Jaguars. We lose to everybody. Uh, yeah. they, they're not the having a perfect season. So you you don't you you don't gotta force people the ball. But at the same time, I'm saying, mm-hmm. can we see a Diggs stealing situation with Cup and Odell, but with Cup getting the ball more than Odell because you just yes, Robert, Woods. Robert Woods don't need the ball five times five six and, seven, you, nine times and you have the up and comer you have you have, you have Jefferson like so you you people's going to have that it's just Odell now he kind of look I ain't trying to say that Skip Bayless was right I look I like Skip first of all I like Skip Bayless you know I'm a Skip Bayless like fan like I love Skip Bayless I like you know Shannon Sharp like that those those are my guys but I'm not gonna lie like having a guy like Odell though I think it does and it's coming from a person who literally I, I don't we're not proclaiming to be in the locker room. We don't know none of that stuff. We're just regular guys who are talking about football. And we happen to play street football a lot. Not as much game. But having a guy that you just want to throw the ball to a lot. And you just want to force him. Like, you want to, you want to give him the ball. You want to give him the ball. You want, especially if that's your friend. Like, we've been on teams before. And I'm like, you know, like, well, I'll be, uh, like, quarterback. And then I'm like, okay, well, Kenny, well, you got to be running back. But then we're about to block. But I still try to give you the ball. You're getting tackled, you know. Freaking at a lot of scrimmage, like give me and it's like, and I could just you know simply play you know offensive line, and you could just go in and go on defense and just have everybody else take care of offense. You give me so it's like when you want when you have a friend on the team, and then you know somebody who's excellent, you kind of want to make sure that they get going. And I think it did. You know, you okay? Let me ask you this question: Do you think it's a coincidence that Baker always looked better even before Odell got in, even after not one game because one game they ran the ball a lot. We know they built on the run. Yeah. You know they built on a run, and he's a play action quarterback. But do you think it's a coincidence, or you think it's really just it really was just that? Like it, and of course, variables matter. But I'm saying like in a, in a nutshell. We talking personality. We talking uh on like tactics on field. Yeah, on, on field. Uh, yeah. it just it didn't click. It was it was not it's not it's a match made in hell basically. Like yeah. again, we 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 could say uh, we not in the locker room all that stuff. But there's two things. One, we know ball. I I tell anybody that mm-hmm. I know a lot of sports, but I don't know any sport the way I know football and soccer. Football exactly. and football. Those two sports, I know them. So yeah. when it comes to like you could, and then we know something else. Odell is a personality. Now you, this ain't wrestling. I ain't gonna say it's a gimmick where he, you know, he's doing, he's himself up to a ten. But, but you, you could see. I mean, and again, we talk about diva receivers all the time. We talk about Ocho Cinco, Chad Cinco, Johnson, all o- that o- stuff. O- exactly. o- we talk about that stuff all the time. But it's like mm-hmm. you, could, first of all, you can't get the ball as a receiver. You can't get the ball to the to the quarterback. Give it to you. So if you don't build that relationship, it's going you, you're just gonna suffer. It's just, it's, it's just it is what it is. Straight up, that's just how it is. You, mm-hmm. Skills mean a lot, but if you know. That's my quarterback T.O. crying. That that that's that's not it's real. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's, it's not a just a game. Yep. Like so you don't build that, you don't got that, it's just not gonna happen. And then it just so simply put, you just think it that it just it just didn't click. Like it was simply just chemistry just wasn't there for whatever reason, you know, they didn't mesh. Um what, what you think would have been a better team for all that? Than the Rams? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you who are y'all you just you probably gonna just get mad at me, but whatever. I, my pick was the other what was the other LA team, the Chargers. Yeah. I told you to, I, yeah, remember we was in the chat and I'm like, I think you either going to like uh, I think you're only going to either Vegas or the, like um LA or Las Vegas. I thought I honestly thought there weren't any real other contenders other than what the NFL media was saying. But I really didn't see how because of following Odell and just kind of like knowing, you know, like the type of person that he is. I'm like, it has to be Vegas. Cause we knew Miami wasn't an option because we're not like we're not ready to rent, even though I do think that if he did. Well, the offensive line is just so bad. Yeah, because <laughs> it don't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The offensive line is just that. I mean, we bad. do have a lot of injuries at receiver, but the O line is it's just two. Two can't get the ball that fast. But we're not gonna talk mm-hmm. about the offense. Uh, we do another that. podcast. We definitely yeah, do yeah, another yeah. podcast. I mean, so we did that. It'll be the longest video we've ever made. Let's. So yeah. I, 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 let's maybe not do that. It's Jeff, um, definitely gonna be bad, but we'd have to do. Let's talk about Vegas. Again, let's I'm go back though. Go ahead, go to Vegas. There's a couple things about Vegas. First of all, Vegas might be one of the teams I watch the least because even though I got Sunday ticket now and I watch a lot of football. 
lately Vegas ain't playing good. I ain't have Sunday ticket all year long. I got it mid mid season, like oh, we got it mid season, like, yeah, we, like we yeah. five or something. Uh, that's yeah. after I think that's after their undefeated streak ended. Um, mm-hmm. I know I do know a lot about you know rugs in the sense that I watched him in college. That's when I was watching college ball a lot, and I do know how he played. And I don't think him and Odell are similar receivers. And I know people are saying you know they lost uh, that they lost that star. So let's plug in Odell. That's not how that would have worked, as far as what I know. And then, Deshaun know, works that way though. See that Deshaun is a a plug and play replacement yeah. for for rugs. So yeah, so and I, I think there's a a dumpster fire going on in Vegas right now because it's not just rugs that's happening. We got this rugs happened after Chucky, so that starts it off. So it's Chucky, then rugs, then you got the the cornerback that was just released. Um, Odell a star, but he 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 know PR, so I don't, I don't think that was happening. But if you're talking about on the field, I'm not yeah. sure because uh I've Probably been one of the biggest slanderers of Carr, probably because of uh, what happened. I don't understand. Just, how, you know, man. I, I just I remember his brother in the league, and I just that shit will not leave my mind. I don't. He was a it. baby, bro. I don't I, even understand I, how you hold that against it, him. For some reason. That's terrible. I don't know. It won't leave my mind. I got a slander against. I don't know. I try not man. to. But when Vegas was undefeated, I was like, maybe I should start watching them games because I don't understand how. Because I do remember they were undefeated, and it was a was it a Monday night or Thursday night? I remember they were prime time, and I'm like, okay, I can see this team got some fight in them, but they that's just really not a. Do. I mean, besides Darren Waller, I'm not. What is this team doing? That's why ain't nobody See, beating them. And then people started beating them. I'm like, okay. And then I, I think it's one of those things like people talk like again, not bring up Dolphins too much, but there's this, this yeah. thing about you know people always slating the Dolphins or this was wrong, this was wrong, even though they're not really watching. But the thing about it is, besides this last Thursday night, whenever we were on prime time, we played like shit. Like I remember we played against uh, what was it, the Bengals Thursday night a while back, and they they put forty mm-hmm. on us. We ain't scored a damn, and it looked really really bad. And it was like. Yeah. This is as far as everyone knows national media because everybody not watching one o'clock games with Dolphins every week. This is what they saw, and it was like, yeah, it was with Dolphins every week, and it really wasn't. That was our worst game all season. But as far as everyone concerned, oh, you know, Dolphins suck. There's six and ten, and this is one of the games. This is how all the games they lose look. It's not true. So I so that changed my view on Vegas because I started watching them and they started losing. And I was like, why were they undefeated to begin with? But you know, there's got all this other backroom stuff going on. So I don't know. I can't personally say, oh, Odell would have or wouldn't fit. I don't want to say, but I do know if you're talking about putting them into where that rug spot, I know that wouldn't work because I know how rugs play. Well, and, and I'm gonna piggyback up on it. Like the reason why it would I agree with that, it would have been a good spot for him, but not to just, you know, plug for for Henry Ruggs. It would have been, it would have worked if Henry Ruggs was there and Odell had went there, or Deshaun Jackson or Odell, because now Deshaun is a build a top off, you know, you know, uh you know, go routes, uh, you know, uh, flags, um, you know, just, just open, you know, take the top off and allow Odell to work underneath, allow Odell to, to hit, you know, uh, work, you know, double moves and to get, get the ball in his hand and run after the catch. Right. Right. And Derek Carr's the type of quarterback because he played in the system. And again, I'm, not, I'm going way back to like, you know, Fresno State when you had Devontae Adams and, you know, like, you know, one of those type of, you know, one of those type of plays. But again, you see him now, he, he know how to get the ball to people. So that would have been great. One of the places I think he should have went is actually New England. Because he wanted to win now. Like, don't get me wrong. If he, no, he wasn't going to get the ball. How can I put it? It's not he wasn't going to get the ball as much. But I think the offense would have been able to give itself. Because who do they have at receivers? Like, that, uh, that is definitely true. Um, like, they have nobody. So, it's like they need – Mac Jones needed that spark. And he's, he's capable of playing in the system, you know, where it can be creative. Because Josh McDaniels is, is creative. Um, it would have took three weeks, obviously, but you know, at the same time, they would have found ways to get in the ball, like they did with um, um, Antonio Brown when he when he first got there. The dude, yeah, you know, yeah. barely had his cleats tied, and he was making impacts, um, impact plays. So, I think that might have worked simply because the AFC is drunk and they don't know. No one knows who wants to even win the division, much less get those remaining playoff spots. And so, yeah. maybe the Patriots are now in the hunt, even though I, as a lifelong Alabama quarterbacks, don't work thinker. Um, Somebody has to be proved wrong by Jalen Hurts and Mac Jones, but not by Tua. Uh, so I'm, I'm I'm not Jeff. I'm not saying Tua sucks. No, no, we're not going to talk about it though. But again, we, this is another conversation. But we talk about like historically, we, yeah, quarterbacks is not they, the thing like mm. AJ McCarron, uh, Coker. Like, no, they don't. don't no, like, they don't work. But yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna say this: they have they, none of them were also like drafted in the first round either. No, you're right. You, you see, saying, like, so, again, Bill Belichick is being Bill Belichick again. Josh McDonald, John McDonald. No, sure. So. They are who anybody. They are. To, let's we the thing about that team is they could have plugged any quarterback in there and it would have worked. They could have stuck with Cam and they would have been in a similar situation. I think what they wanted to do was we might as well build for the future. Exactly. 
like they're like, okay, well, if Cam can do this, then we can do this with a rookie, and we'll be okay because we know we're gonna take some bumps, then we just take it. Because right now, Bill is trying to win a Super Bowl in the next few years because he needs to at least get one to kind of say, see, I did it without you know Tom. He has to get all he has to do is get one. Let's like, Tom win another like, one this year. All the other stuff that the Belichick has done, he's not, he not only coaching the Patriots, people. Again, I'm not even that old and I know that. I don't know what's wrong with people. Well, the reason why they say we well, had Lawrence Taylor uh, with, with the Giants, they give me like their people pick pick and choose that he fell with the Jets because of Tom anything. Brady. Everybody, like, like, you're on the same page. The thing, the, the, the thing about football fans and you know, like you know, like like football heads and stuff, and then when people kind of like not think, you know, like uh, outside, they don't they don't use variables to construct their thought process is 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 draining. Um, and, and that's what's like that's what annoys me about a lot of NFL media sometimes is because they don't use their thought process. Like that's why Dan Orlowski, I could listen to people like him, Ryan Clark, um, you know, because they they kind of they break stuff down, uh, you know, for you. Like they they don't just think like flat earth. Right. They they they, <laughs> they think about it, you know, like globe, like they understand like you know everything. So, but at least they try to they they try to break it down for in lame layman's terms. Can I say layman's or I have to say laypersons? No, it's, it's fine. Cancer. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, um, and then the other would have been the charges for me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, charges offense. Yeah, I, I yeah. said, that, but for sure, like yeah, charges would have been really good for him. So we both agree the Rams was like the worst choice for him. I don't know about okay. worse. You know, I mean, not out of, worse. Out of, out of, out of I mean, that, out of the the, the, the that group. Uh, I mean, yeah, because the Saints was. I don't know. The, the Saints would have been worse. I think I think Seattle would have been worse than the Rams. But other than that. I agree. He would have been frustrated because that offense is future. Look, it, it's like it's. I don't and, know what's wrong with the offense. There's no win now. That team is not winning. Like I, I, my, my girlfriend's a Seahawks. I finally got my girlfriend in football, and she became a Seahawks fan two years ago. So I watched a lot of Seahawks. Because Sierra and Russell Wilson. Yeah, uh, kind of. And the colors and the fans. Yeah. She got a whole thing going on. Whatever. Jeffrey Noah, so, girl who's dating Carlos Dunlap, and she broke his heart. Just I'm, I'm dead. Yeah. So with the Seahawks, like that team is not in win now mode. It's, it's not. That defense is not what it was. It's over relying on it's it's, it's over relying on Russell. Uh, DK Metcalf is not really hitting that second gear he needs to. That I think he needs to to take that offense to that next level. So if you would have added Odell to that, I and mean, now DK gonna be even more frustrated because you're taking touches away from him because that's what he need to get. Because yeah, he, he a big guy so deep, but he he needs he has See, that yak ability. So get them short routes that you're taking away from him. I don't know if that would work. I don't Odell, just uh, well, the rumor was that Odell wanted that, not like oh not oh they pretty up in the waiver wire and why would they not do it it was i think like the rumors was odell's like why not play in seattle so i don't i don't think it would work personally but what you think man it's tough because i you said something that i kind of agree with right which was uh dk metcalf not taking that that next step and what made calvin johnson and 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 julio being you know like similar type of receivers uh you know, let's go Brandon Marshall, Calvin Johnson, Julio Jones, Tio, right? You kind of all lumped them in a the group with DK, right? As far as, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, as far yeah. as size and speed and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, physicality, right? They weren't just, they weren't just the, you know, because all big receivers are quote unquote, like they're looked at as they have to be deep threats, meaning, you know, like post goals, you know, control the sideline, catch the ball, right? You know, play above the rim. D- it seemed like DK... And I'm and I'm gonna say he's falling under the same category as Des Bryant, but it's almost as if he could be falling under the same category as Des Bryant, but it might have a lot to do with the offensive line. Hmm? In what sense do you say that? In breaking routes, like you know, being in breaking, you know, going across the middle, like you know, just only being a big receiver. Okay, you know, not being able to do you know, not being able to do double moves because he is fluid um for his size. And again, maybe it's just because we can't study tape like that, but I'm wondering if he's falling victim to two things. The fact that Russell, you know, has been hurt in the offensive line is is not is not together, and or is he just you know uh, a big receiver? Uh, go go down that list again. Um, Brandon Marshall. Uh-huh. To okay, you want to take To out? No, same, no, 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 same no, 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 because Brandon Marshall is no. off the field stuff that always got his way right. He's, he's no, no, but yeah, but he, no, Brandon said like they're all the same type I'm trying to think what held. Some of those people back. Remember Brian Marshall? No, no, they, no, they were not. No, they were not held back. I'm saying that's I'm what, saying elite big receivers. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm thinking. Because yeah, I was, I was about to say, Brian, everyone on there, is, yeah, yeah, they were elite. Yeah, exactly. Des Bryant is the one that you got. Uh, one point two. Uh, Mike Williams, 
who's playing for the Chargers right now. Nah, yeah. That Mike Williams. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you, you were saying uh, Elite, he was he's, falling he fits into that like, bracket. I'm saying he should no, want to fall into that bracket. No, I'm saying he, he's – I'm talking about the same – yeah, I mean from a physicality standpoint. Yeah, okay. not – because, he no, he wants to be in that. He wants to be with them. Like the, the – because Mike – I'm going to give you an example. Mike Evans does – like, he doesn't do anything. He's not versatile. Who, Mike Evans? Oh. Yeah, he not. He dominates, and that's why he can kind of have those super quiet, like long stretches of quietness because he dominates doing, you know, go routes, posts, uh, fades. Like you know, like he. he I, I think the development issue. No, I, well, well, obviously the development. He was always stiff. He was just he, like he he oh, had a lead that's size. That and them offense was, it was, it's nothing like what Tampa has ever ran. So I don't, I don't. Yeah. I think it's possible. You think he could be? You think he, it's possible that he's? I think it's a system thing. Oh, okay, I, I, I don't think it's, I don't, okay. Again, I don't, you don't know. Think it's a Mike anywhere Williams. else besides Texas I mean, Mike, and now Tampa. And, and obviously Tampa, yeah. So I don't know. That's just I it test might be because we, we don't got a lot of it, tape. But yeah, it might be. It might be the system. Like maybe. He and I think Mike Evans suffered a lot from uh, Megatron comparisons. The, look, it, I always feel like this. The only there's only one person that could have been compared to Megatron, um, Julio, and that was Julio. Because it made the most sense. Like he ran a four three forty, jumped out of the jump, but guess what? He was still three inches shorter. Yeah. So it, it, I, I so, think I think Julio a little bit more physical, actually. Strangely enough, like because like like as far more as like, physical than like that, first five, more that first five yards the Calvin. Both. In the first five yards, I think he's just quicker. When, like when, I when think you it, about, when you talk about jump ball, that's what Megatron will bully you more than than Julio, obviously because mm-hmm. he's bigger and he has them wider shoulders. We talk about like on the line. I think Julio was, was doing more because well, he was he was thinking because he, he playing like when he was still like smaller like before he got to Alabama he was not as big as like not just about height but like he was he got he wasn't as girthy yeah. so think about and now you know again we talk about it all the time because we both kind of old school best ability is availability Julio yeah leaving Atlanta did not work out for him so far so you know I'm gonna tell you what I thought I promise you I didn't I didn't think he was gonna go to Tennessee and be like oh my god because. I've seen Ryan Tannehill play. Like, we know, like, they not – and their offense is not chucking the ball all the time. So, I didn't think it was going to be, oh, my God. But what I thought it was going to do is free up, which it was doing Derrick Henry, you know, even more. Because, now, like, now you can't put eight, nine in the box. You, it would have been impossible. And Because you don't want to leave AJ and Julio one-on-one. You just yeah, you do not want to do that. Yeah. Because for all time, Ryan Tannehill faults is he works amazingly off play action. Like, he is and phenomenal then, and play action. He's accurate. Hmm? And now they got RPO on top of that. Cause... Yeah. And that's and that's what he does. For some reason, I don't know why we we not talking about the Dolphins though. So, because I told you my theory, like, what I always wanted. But anyway, look, I'm gonna t- I always wanted this real quick. We are gonna get off. I always thought that we should have kept Ryan Tanner here for an additional year because we only had two years left on his contract, and then you know drafted a quarterback and let that quarterback learn from under him. That, that quarterback in my mind was always Tua, but I'm like, we can't have Ryan Tanner and have a chance at Tua either. So yeah, yeah, that yeah. was that, yeah. We, yeah, we, we, but it would have been anyway. It would have been any really quarterback for me. Thank for Tua. We've we've gone. We've done. We've we've went down this path many a time. All right, people. So we are out of time. I'm Mike. That's Kenny. We back. We go for two full fledged. We running full speed ahead. Probably not because we probably not gonna record all the time. So Kenny, what's next for you? Really quick before we leave. Uh, we're gonna talk about tour time. It's coming oh, soon. Yeah, that is, yep, coming soon for you. Coming, coming soon. Really? So y'all have no idea how soon it's coming. And we, and we we got some other stuff coming too. Uh, Florida, I don't know if you we live in Florida, obviously that's why I'm you know yeah. that. Uh, it's completely legal to sports bet. It's usually it's only through Hard Rock right now. You got other petitions going on trying to get that shit diversified. But for now, we're using the Hard Rock sports bet. Now we're not sponsored, but the way I use it, we might be soon because we I'm gonna start dropping some videos on that, and we're gonna start doing some uh some recaps of weekends because you know some people don't have the time. I mean I don't sometimes, but <laughs> I've been watching a lot of sports. And I want to, you know, because Golf 2 not just a football channel. It's what we do predominantly. We, we watch a lot of yeah. sports, so we're going to start giving people some recaps. So start bringing them to by, the people. By we, he means him and, like, the other people that's supposed to be yeah. right now who are not, they're not I'm reliable the right now. Yeah, the channel itself is supposed to be more. Like, in fact, we can even talk about wrestling because we do love wrestling. Yeah. But we want to step on Chan's toes. Uh, but technically, we could, like we, we watch, like you said, we watch sports. I watch sports entertainment and football a lot. Um, you know, you can catch Kenny on what is that thing called? You and Chance. I got, I, I, I got uh, wrestling behind the curtains. I'm also on the curtains. Uh, I'm on the bus. So on the bus. And me, of course, y'all know me from such things as random rants and random rants. 
and, and, and geeked out because you know we we don't get back, but you know that's more of a collective of a bunch of people coming together from all different type of podcast avenues talking about one thing. Mm-hmm. But random rats could catch us, Kenny. This is Kenny's channel. I'm trying to make it his channel, I'm trying to push it along, so I don't have to do crap. But I appreciate him because he was the one that actually brought this up. I was going to restart doing solo videos and just hear myself talk because I actually like my voice. So, <laughs> but I'm just like people, voice because I'm coming to the people with the with the information they really need how to make some money. Yep, how yeah. to make some money, yo! I know I'm going to watch because Kenny. I tried to tell him to take the over on the Dolphins because I thought we was going to get. I thought we were going to score like 21 and the Ravens going to score like 30. I really did pick us the win though. I ain't gonna lie, I did pick us the win. I just didn't. I didn't know how much I believed it. <laughs> uh, I refuse. Usually, I refuse to bet against the Dolphins because I am not yeah, a degenerate. Um, but I knew I had to bet on that game because I am a degenerate. So there you go. So listen to Kenny. He is gonna come. And until next time, people. Peace. <laughs>